Hey guys, what's up? It's Mercedes Michelle, and I wanted to show you guys really quick how I make Malaya's birthday invitation. So right now I have a Word document opened, and I'm just going to take you guys step by step on how I design her little invitation. So first you just want to change the orientation of your pay page. So we're going to change it to landscape, and it just makes it a little wider, so it's not like shorter. The margins are wider and things like that. And then you're going to go ahead and insert a table. Now, this is the way I do it just so I can have everything the same size. So it's totally up to you. So I'm going to do three by two. And I'm going to insert that table. Then I'm going to click on that little box there. Right click and go down to table properties. So now I'm going to go ahead and go to table options. And I'm going to uncheck automatically resize to fit content. And then you're going to press OK. And then you're going to go over to row. And we're going to specify the height. And so I want this to be three here. So column three and then row four. And then press OK. All right, so it's going to be like this. So each square is going to be an invitation. Now, sometimes it may come on two different pages. So what you want to do so you can fit them on each page is actually change your margin. All it takes. So you see that on one page. Mine's is a little bigger. I'm not sure why it's not. So you just want to size it. So stay on the page, but big enough for the invitation. So that's going to be the size of her little invitations. Now what I do is basically use word art. You don't technically have to, but I just use word art. So I go to insert and then I'm going to go over here to the little A, which is word art. And I use this one right here. So this text said, your Two. Now, for font, you just change it to whatever font you like. I changed her font for her invitation. Uh, Bernard MT Condensed. I guess that's what it's called. And then you can size it. I think I did about 14, maybe 16. 16. And then you want to make sure you just center the text. I'm going to try. Hmm. I don't know, y'all. And then you can just drag it and put it wherever you want. So that's going to be about right there. You're invited to. And then I'm also going to do a word art. I'm pretty sure I didn't use word art for her. You're invited to. I probably just use regular text, and that's why I'm a little off on that. But you get the point here. So for her name, I actually did use word art. Um, even though I didn't have to. So I'm going to put Malaya right here. Same thing. Now this name is going to be a different text. So for her name, I'm going to actually use, I believe it is the Lost and Wild. Yes. Lost and Wild text. For her name and I am going to keep her name a little larger than everything else but it's not going to be that large so let's do about 26 yeah 26 there and then you just want to center it okay I'm just going to insert a text box really quick because it's not working do a text box you guys I literally just 
did the thing. Okay, and then we're going to change the font here. And the font is going to be the same as your invited. So it's going to be the Bernard. And I'm going to change the font size to about 14 or 12 for the sake of the video. And then I went to Google Images Chanel PNG logo. And then you just pick the logo you want, whatever theme you're doing. So right click, save image, and that it's a PNG, so it's a transparent background. So you're gonna save that. Then you're gonna go back to your Word document and you're gonna insert picture. And of course you want to change this to a different thing so you can move it. And I'm gonna put that right here. And then you can resize it. Make sure it's centered. So that's kind of how I designed her little invitations. And now I'm gonna go ahead and print them out. Print. And then make sure that it's fitting on the sheet. And make sure that my printer properties is set to best. Okay. And now, right, so now what I'm doing is taking this cardstock that I picked up from Hobby Lobby and I'm using my cutter to cut it um, to a certain size. Okay, just show you guys. I'm making them like this, placing it on top, trying to cut it down a little. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to put it into the cutter. So this is going to be the background for the invitation. I'm going to E6000 do because this is cardstock and then this fab, this cardstock um, that is going on is like a glitter cardstock. So regular glue is not going to do the job. So I'm just going to go E6000 glue cardstock. Alright guys, so what I'm doing now is just adding some rhinestones to the um Invitation now you can add like this really bling rhinestone or you can add this Dollar Tree rhinestone that you get from Dollar Tree or Walmart um, For the first invitation I'm going to show you guys with the bling rhinestone that I ordered from Aliexpress a while ago So this is imitation one and how it came out. Not perfect, but yeah, it's a little Chanel imitation for my daughter's birthday. So that's imitation one. All right guys, so I'm gonna show you how I use the Dollar Tree rhinestone. To make the other imitations, I'm just gonna cut this with the seals. This is just um, how I'm going to do the rest of her invitations. Just because it's cheap. Honestly, it's just cheaper for the invitations to go in the trash. I don't have to use the expensive rhinestone. I can just use this from the Dollar Tree and it looks just as good. I actually like it a little better. So I just added the two little pearls there. And that pretty much completes our invitation. So I forgot to cover up my numbers, my phone number, but this is the invitation. And this is the end result of our Chanel DIY invitations. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment down below if you did, let me know. And go ahead and hit that subscribe button for more videos, you guys. Peace.